I'm Steph. And I'm Richard. Today's question is from ANF Faith. I have a question. In Korea, are gay and lesbians respected and not made fun of? Because I know that in Canada, it's really respected and people don't care. Being gay in Canada is something so common and open. Okay, we chose this question about an hour ago and right afterwards we hopped onto the internet to research a few things other than what our own experience is with friends and things that we've seen in Korea. I started getting really upset. Why? Because this place doesn't really accept gays and lesbians here. I would agree with that one. Let's put it this way. This is a tough place to be gay. No doubt about it. I'm having trouble just thinking about it because if I was gay and if I was a Korean, it would be one of the toughest lives I'd probably have to leave this place. Probably would. I mean, if I wanted to have a nice, fun, fruitful, experience in life because it doesn't seem like that's what gay people have in this country. The majority of them have to instead not tell anybody or only tell their closest friends and most definitely not tell their parents unless their parents are really open-minded. Mm. Wouldn't you say? I would definitely agree with that one and actually I had one of my former students tell me that she doesn't even think that gay people exist in Korea. Which is absurd. There is this mindset that homosexuality does not exist in Korea. It exists other places, but not in Korea. Why do you think that is? I think generally Korea is just a really super conservative place. It's only recently in the last couple of years have they been allowed to marry in places like the United States, Canada, European countries, and not even everywhere in the United States. That's true. My home state of Pennsylvania is still fighting a battle right now about whether or not homosexual marriage can be allowed because some guy gave out some marriage licenses and he wasn't supposed to. Okay, and in New York State where I'm from, they just passed a law to legalize gay marriage last year, I think. All that being said, though, Korea is not a very homosexual friendly place. This subject makes me so freaking frustrated because I was reading about Hong Suk Chun. Now, Hong Suk Chun is the most famous Korean celebrity who came out gay in 2000. He's been out 13 years. Right. Even as recently as this year, he was on television crying because his experience is so difficult for him. And I don't think people realize that he has had to carry the burden of all homosexuals in Korea by himself because there's nobody else that has the guts to come out because this society is so suffocating when it comes to really openly expressing yourself as a gay person. I would actually have to disagree with that statement because he is not the only one that's carrying this torch because Park Kim is Wh What's Peter that guy's Kim. name? Peter Kim, okay. Uh, Peter Kim. Kim Jo Kwang Soo. There's a film director that has come out really strongly this year. Film director Kim Jo Kwang Soo, who is, let me put this down, who has made national news this year because not only has he been homosexual out of the closet for almost as long as this other guy that you're talking about, but this year he came out and he announced that he is marrying his long-term partner at the Chungi Chung, which is the, like, the little stream that everybody hangs out with in the middle of Seoul, and he wants to take the proceeds seeds from the wedding and build a center for the community, the lesbian, homosexual, transgender community in Seoul. What a wonderful prospect and Korea really needs this and that guy is taking the horse by the reins like Han Suk Chung did and trying to make a positive impact which does nothing but make my heart swell because this place needs that. True, but he's still facing a lot of opposition because there's a lot of people who have been attacking him for this and actually the wedding is going on tomorrow when we are filming this so I don't know if he's actually been able to go through with the whole wedding, wedding ceremony, if there have been problems because of it, well, and but congratulations Congratulations, man. Congratulations, right. But on top of that, I don't think his marriage is going to be legal. If he wants to make it legal, he's got to go where? Somewhere uh, where it's legal. Yeah, he's got to go to the... Because it can't be legal here. He's got to go to the Jangno office and do no, the No, but I mean, two work. men marrying can't be legal in this country. It's not, but he's going to fight to try to make his marriage legal because he thinks that all people who love somebody should be able to marry that person. Yeah, like you and I and like a lot of people out there at this point who realize that people are born gay. Anybody at this point, to me, who feels that gay is a choice, and this is like a strong statement still, but it shouldn't be in 2013, that's absurd. And that bothers me too, because mm. I think that's how a lot of people still feel about homosexuality here. There's also a lot of people that are stuck in the whole mindset that you have to get married and you have to have kids and you have to make your parents happy and marry somebody that makes your parents happy. There's a lot of people because of this, because of their parents thinking and their grandparents that end up staying in the closet and having affairs outside of their marriage. They end up marrying somebody of the opposite gender, but they have affairs on the side with their own sexual preference. And I've actually had 
had some friends that are, I've heard of this too. Yes, yeah. I've had some friends that are gay here who you know they were gay Westerners who came to from Canada or the U.S. They came to Korea and they were just so disgusted because they didn't want to have affairs. They didn't want to be in adulterous relationships. They wanted to love the person that they were with and they couldn't be in that sort of relationship. I did actually see Hong Suk Chun once in Taiwan a good two or three years ago. He was walking oh, yeah. with a, a small group of people, probably like three or four of them. And I recognize him because he owns several restaurants in Itaewon, one of which is called My Chelsea. All of them have My something, My Thai, My Chelsea. And they're really popular. I've actually had drinks at My Chelsea once. It's a really nice place. But I saw him, and this was before I did the internet research today. He seemed really happy, and he seemed to be, I guess that his public stature has to be, I'm confident, and I've done the right thing, and all these things. But deep down, he's really still fighting that, God, you know what? This ain't right. I'm still not accepted here. Maybe people think my life Life is great, but I suffer as much as everybody else. That wasn't something I was thinking when I saw him. I thought, holy crap, it's Hong Suk Chun. But I've actually read that his parents even still don't really accept his lifestyle. They wish that he would become normal and settle down and have a normal family. Right, because gays aren't normal. How horrible for him. How horrible that must be. And th th that's the thing. They're not the only gay people. Um, Harry Sue? Harry Sue is the first open transgender celebrity in Korea. She actually is the only the second person to register in Korea as transgender. But there's so many- You have many, to register for that? Like you have to register for gender ah. change. And she was actually allowed to legally marry her man. <laughs> So you like to review Korean dramas, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, so have there ever been any gay characters that you've seen in Korean dramas? Oh, totally. There's uh, actually quite a few gay characters in Korean dramas. There are a lot of great dramas out there that tackle the homosexual subject, but there's also a lot of dramas that are like the whole, well, like Coffee Prince Girls, all the girl gender benders to the beautiful you, nail shop Paris. The girl dresses up like a guy and the guys start to fall for her, but he she thinks that she is a he, and so then there's like, oh my god, I must be gay. And it's just like, there's that, which I think is a really so they bad approach, representation. They approach the situation in a silly way. They approach the situation in a silly way. And personal preference is another example of that, because you have Lee Min Ho, who's pretending to be gay, and his, his <laughs> yeah, friend- Yeah, there's a good one right there. His friend thinks that he's gay. Can you imagine Lee Min Ho being gay? No, seriously, ladies out there, Lee Min Ho gay? Yeah, okay, that, that's a- Pull that one over my eyes. I, I could actually see that happening, but I think it would make a lot of the netizens really angry if the whole drama out. world would just sink into a black oh. hole if that happened. It would be terrible. But he pretended to be gay so that he could live with this girl. To trick her into thinking that he was gay so that he could live with her and they could share an apartment until he came out that, hey, by the way, I'm not really gay and they fall in love. Happy ending, there you go. Happy yeah. ending, heterosexual relationship. And that's the way that a lot of the dramas end up being. But there's also a lot of dramas that end videos, movies, the chill, homosexual, lesbian relationships. There actually have also been reality television shows. There actually was one called Coming Out, but all of the reality shows that have tried to tackle this subject have either been shut down after an episode or one season or right because netizens no go on the internet and they go freaking berserk bonkers uh. with anonymous negative messages i've seen gay couples walking out in public all the time i saw recently when i was out on a run a, a female couple that was walking and holding hands to me they were obviously gay i think that korean people probably don't think they're gay because it's acceptable for two men or two women to walk in public holding hands and be heterosexual both of them. I just thought when I saw this couple, holy crap, there's a gay couple. How nice. But I must have been the only one on the whole river that thought that. Korea does have Korean gay pride parades, though. This is a very positive that I'd like to mention. I went to one in 2011 called the Korean Queer Culture Festival. It was really cool. Actually, it was right in the area where the guy that you said is going to get married. It was on the Chungae Chun on the stream there in the center of Seoul. And there were a lot of gay people there. I couldn't believe it. But the one thing that they make you do that the organizers hand out are these cards that say you are not allowed to photograph anybody without their permission and you're most certainly not allowed, or videotape, and you're not allowed to post it on the internet anywhere because it could be detrimental to their life or their future here. Yeah, I mean, if their face were to get out, they could get fired, they could be ostracized from their family and friends. They're really taking a step out there to even participate in the parade. But that was a cool experience. There was a stage where people were dressed up, cross-dressed, and announcing certain activities and dances and things like that. And I think a lot of people are curious. A lot of the younger people are sort of like, you know what? 
It's like the West. We don't really care that you're gay. We want to see what's going on. We want to know about this kind of secret culture. It was a happy place. It was a good place where, at least for one day, gay people could go and feel accepted and feel like, you know what? This is who I am. This is what I want to be. Doesn't it just seem that it takes forever for society to sort of get onto the right page with justice for everybody? It does take a long time, and there's a lot of really bad, like, making fun of things. Makes me crazy. Everybody should be treated equally and it should not matter what country you're in, what your sexuality is. We all should just be able to get along and live the life the way we want to. And yet in 2013, that's just not the way society is. Not at all. And it's really sad. I have a heavy heart right now. <laughs> That's sad pandas. And that does it for today's life in Korea. If you have a question you'd like us to breach, don't be shy. Obviously, we're going to tackle just about anything that you throw at us. Look at today's subject. Please write a note in the comments, a question, uh, or you can head to our blog and write it in the comment section there. <laughs> or you can head to facebook.com slash hollyouback and leave us a note on our wall. And like and favorite this video. And if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to our YouTube channel for awesome drama. And life in Korea videos. That's it for today's life in Korea. Experience, Experience it. Experience it.